Hello, this is Dr. Sass, and today I am reviewing Nino Kuni, the movie. It's not based on the story of the game, so it's suitable for anyone, not just the fans. The main character, Yu, looks like a girl, whose name, as you can imagine, gets mixed up with the word Yu and letter Yu. I thought he was the love interest of his friend, Haru, typical Japanese name, the basketball player until he spoke. Despite being in the wheelchair, he somehow ends up saving his friends multiple times, and that's not a spoiler because it actually shows that in the trailer. Yu is the quiet, sensible one, while Haru is the loud, reckless, stupid one. They have an odd couple thing going on. Haru falls out with you for petty reasons and blunders in multiple points of the film. The reasons he falls out with him are very eye-rolling and cringy. Anyway, these high schoolers get involved in a case involving their girlfriend, Kotono, which forces them to go back and forth between the fantasy world and Nino Kune. In both worlds, when Kotono's life is in danger, they all have to make an ultimate choice. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Of course, it has great animation, music, acting, all you would expect from an animated movie with this budget. The story, however, is a little one note. They only really stay in a town in Nino Kuni rather than explore the whole world. There's a few interesting creatures in the town. Some of them have very interesting English accents. But the story is more focused on the character development of the main crew. So what would I give the movie? I would give the movie a solid three. I think it's definitely worth watching. If you're a Nino Kuni fan or you just like animation, go out and see it. It's a good wee film. Hello guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more videos. Bye!